IMA International's online platform allows you to create and curate a tailor-made, user-friendly and participatory learning journey for any audience. It provides a hub for educational content and resources, as well as being a space for social interaction, collaboration and support. In this video you can find out more about the flexibility and control you can have on the platform. Firstly, you can add an unlimited number of chapters or modules which are made up of lessons which are completed sequentially being marked as complete as progression is made. All lessons can be set as prerequisites and they can also be scheduled to become available on certain dates. There are many types of lessons. Text lessons contain very versatile content editors. They allow you to add and format text, hyperlinks, audio files, images and videos. These content editors feature as an extra on the following lessons too. Video lessons are specifically designed to embed video content which allows you to monitor what has been viewed. You can also set a required percentage to be watched before the lessons are marked as complete, ensuring the participants are engaging with the content. You can also add downloads below the player for supporting or reference material, or even to download the video itself. Once the video plays to the end, the student can click on the continue button to access the next lesson. Audio lessons allow you to upload audio files such as interviews or instructions for easily accessible playback. You can upload PDF files which you can open within the platform to make them easier to view. Multimedia lessons allow you to embed videos from other websites such as YouTube directly into your participants learning journey without them having to leave the platform. Multimedia lessons can also be used to add external links to communal sites such as Dropbox or Google Docs. Downloads. Add any type of file for participants to download for reference or to be completed and returned. Participants can also upload any type of file for assessment. These files are required to be reviewed and approved in order for the participant to continue. Another two ways to monitor and evaluate progress is with quizzes and surveys. There are two types of quiz questions. One requires one correct answer and the other requires one correct answer or multiple correct answers. You can add explanations for each answer which appear once the answer has been submitted. When the quiz is completed, the participant is given a summary of results and there is an option to retake the quiz or continue. A required pass rate can be added as a requirement. Surveys. There are five types of surveys. A free text survey enables participants to write and submit text freely. A rating survey allows participants to choose from a percentage. A scale survey offers participants the choice of where they choose to be on a specific scale. And there are two multiple choice surveys, one which allows participants to choose an answer that suits them best, and another that allows them to choose all options that are relevant to them. The courses are also completely editable when live, so you can make changes or add content at any time, content such as webinars that have been recorded during the course. You can also create community groups where participants can share experiences and knowledge by uploading content and interacting with each other. Overall, the platform has the flexibility and control to ensure a learning experience that maintains the benefits of face-to-face -face training with the convenience of online training.